Hey, this is Mark from WP Mayor. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the MobileOut WordPress plugin. MobileOut is a WordPress plugin that integrates with your WordPress site to create an app and automatically update it as you make changes to your site. So basically, there's no need to worry about designing a mobile app from scratch and maintaining it. MobileOut does most of the work for you. All you have to do is to make sure you keep your site updated and your content flowing. MobileOut creates native apps for both iOS and Android, resulting in fast and beautiful apps that work on the majority of smartphones and tablets. It offers a number of features that allow you to personalize and test out your app before purchasing it. So before getting started, let's take a look at those. A mobile out uses your existing site and its content to build your app with no extra effort on your end. Once you download the free plugin, you can design and preview your app to your liking using the settings on offer. Once finished, the mobile out team will publish the app on the App Store or Google Play at a particular fee. While most other app solutions create non-native mobile apps, MobileOut gives you a completely native mobile app that both looks and feels great on any Android or iOS smartphone as well as tablets. You can even integrate your style and brand into the app using your own color scheme, logo, custom icons and even launch images. If you'd like, you can add push notifications to your app as well, alerting users when you have new content, content or whenever you'd like to just pull their attention to a part of your site. And there are also a number of advertising options on offer for, with MobileOut, including Mopub, Google D DFP, AdMob, and AdSense. The plugin supports HTML, JavaScript, as well as iframe ad units that allow you to embed the ads directly into your content. Among the other features offered by MobileOut are the choice between WordPress, Discuss, or Facebook commenting. There are some easy social sharing options through a number of social media sites, email, or even SMS. And it even has support for Google Analytics to track any traffic on your mobile apps. Lastly, it also supports other WordPress features such as custom post types, custom fields, tags, most WordPress plugins, and a lot more. There are also a few advanced features such as an advanced editor, which allows you to add any custom HTML, CSS, or PHP code to customize articles or page screens, as well as support for subscription or membership sites. So let's see what it's like to actually use MobileOut. If we head to the website that we're going to be installing the plugin on, all we have to do is add it as any other plugin, activate it from our plugin section, and we'll be taken straight away to the Get Started page. Here you have your MobileOut dashboard. You have four different tabs, in the Get Started section, you also have the settings and the push notifications. Let's start with Get Started. The first tab here is your Design tab. From here, you can upload your logo, uploading any images of, of your choice. You can even change the navigation bar color. And you can see it changing on the mock-up on the right as well. And you can even choose the home screen settings. So here you choose whether you want to show what you want to show on your app's home screen, whether it's sim simply an article list or a particular page on your site or even a particular URL. When you choose a page or a URL, you also get another option, which is the articles menu item. Here you can enter, enter the label you'd like to use for the articles menu item, letting users list your articles. The article list style then lets you choose between showing an extended or a compact thumbnail image. Basically the extended would show the image across the whole app while compact would show a square image besides the title. For the mockup you have a choice between showing an iOS mockup or an Android mockup. And both of them will load right there. The second tab is the menu configuration tab. From here, you're basically going to create the menu structure for your app. All you have to do is click on the drop down menu for each one, select which, for example, categories you want to add, and then you can drag them and change their order. You can even add custom taxonomies, tags, particular pages. Let's say we add an about page and the contact page as well as our privacy policy. 
and to put the contact at the end of the menu. You can even add in any link of your choice. So let's say you will add wordpress.org. All you have to do is enter the URL and add it in. You also have a couple of menu settings. From here, you have a choice between showing a favorites in the app menu, as well as showing the categories tab menu at the top of the screen on an Android device. Once that's done, the next step is to actually test the app. So if we go to our third tab called test the app, we have a choice between testing our app in a simulator or our, on our own device. When testing on our own device, we'll, all we have to do is download the mobile out app from the App Store or from Google Play, depending on what device we have, and to follow the instructions shown here, and you can test it on your own device. If you'd like to test it in a simulator, all you have to do is click on the See Live Preview button. The final tab is the Publish Your App tab. So once everything is ready and you're happy with the way your app looks and works, you can go to the fourth tab where you have a link to the pricing pages for Mopeloud and you'll be able to publish your app based on the license that you want. Before publishing your app, you'll probably want to go through the actual settings for Mopeloud. From settings, you have a number of tabs which are general content, advertising, analytics, editor, membership, and license. And from each one of these, you can set up everything that you need for your mobile app. First up are your application details. So you'll enter your email contact address and the copyright notice that you want. You can even set some article list settings, such as showing post dates in the list, compressing image thumbnails, showing excerpts and showing comment count. You can even select which custom post type to include in the article list, which categories to include in the article list, as well as selecting whether to have sticky categories or not, and whether to have custom fields in the article list. The second tab is the content tab. From here, you'll see the post and page screen settings. So basically you can choose whether to preload post contents when the app starts, whether to show the featured image, where to show author and posts, author and pages, date and post and pages, as well as title. You can set for children page navigation, so whether to have page hierarchy navigation. You can change which commenting settings to use. You have WordPress, Discord, and Facebook comments, or you can disable them completely. And you can even add an alternative featured image using the multiple post thumbnails plugin. And you can override the article slash page URL with a custom field. The third settings tab is the advertising tab. From here, you're going to choose whether to show any adverts at all on your app and which, um, num which networks and ad servers you'll be using. As I already mentioned, there are three ad platforms supported, which are AdMob, Mopub, and Google DFB, DFP. And you can choose which one to use from here and set the settings for those. The Analytics tab comes next. From here, you can enter the tracking ID for Google Anal Analytics, and this will basically track the page and article views and all user activity on your app within Google Analytics. Next up is the Editor tab, and this is basically the code editor that I mentioned before, where you can add any custom HTML, PHP, CSS, as well as JavaScript code, but this is best left to the developers and the advanced users. The tab before the last is your membership tab. And this is where Mobileout can integrate with a number of WordPress membership plugins that you might be using. The last tab is the license tab. From license, you can enter the license keys as well as the secret key. Once you have signed up for one of the plans for Mobileout and your app has been published. The final settings you can change for mobile out are those of push notifications. Now here I have a notifications tab as well as a settings tab. The notifications tab will be accessible once you've purchased the app and entered the valid license key. However, if you go to settings, 
You can set whether to have automatic push notifications when a new post is published, which post types should be pushed, as well as whether to enable SSL for push notifications. With regards to supporting documentation for MobileOud within the plugins dashboard itself, you already offered help right there and then. You can see it here in the bottom right hand screen. Customer support will come up and you have a message board where you can get in touch with the customer support. There's also a help and support section on MobileOud's website where you have frequently asked questions, you have a getting started section, you have various topics to, to search through as well as how to use MobileOud and some troubleshooting documents. And if you'd like, you can enter the search at the top for what you're looking for. In case you need more individual attention, you can get in touch with MobileOud either via email or by giving them a call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, when it comes to the actual price for MobileOud, as I previously mentioned, the MobileOud plugin itself is free to download from the WordPress plugin repository. However, publishing your app comes at a cost. And this is where these pricing plans come in. You have four options to choose from, the first three being the monthly payments shown here. These are split into starter, professional, and publisher licenses, each one offering more than the other. And all offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied with the final product, you've got nothing to worry about. The final option is that of a lifetime license. This offers you the ability to publish your app forever with no monthly fees. And it also has a few extras at an additional cost, including the ultimate push, push notifications, unlimited push notifications, whether to white label the app, in-app advertising, as well as support for membership sites. In conclusion, MobileOud offers a simple solution to creating a mobile app for your WordPress site, even if it is a bit limited. Design-wise, you're restricted to the MobileOud app design itself. However, you're still able to personalize it for your own site. And if you know how to code yourself or you have a developer with you, you can set some custom code. The plugin itself works smoothly and it's very intuitive. You have descriptions provided for almost every setting and there are also plenty of links to where you can get some support and direction. The live preview works great. It offers a real feel of what the end result will look like and what it will work like. And this is something which isn't the case with some of its competitors. Having said that, its price is on the higher side. However, if the options on offer can satisfy your needs and you don't want to spend too much time creating and developing an app from scratch, MobileOut should definitely be a possible solution. I hope you found this review helpful and thank you very much for watching.